Welcome back to Breaking Bread. We're here in this beautiful church of St. Joan of Arc, and we've been taking a look at this wonderful neighborhood of Jackson Heights. So in this part of Jackson Heights, the possibilities are endless. There's just a variety of different kind of restaurants. It's kind of like what I like to call a melting pot of restaurants in this area. So if you're a parishioner here at St. Joan of Arc, the possibilities are endless. Well, what's amazing is that this hasn't always been the case. In fact, when this parish was established over 88 years ago, this neighborhood was known as a garden community because of all the farmland around. And in 88 years, just as this neighborhood has been transformed, right. so has the parish. The church is in great shape, and that's due to the generosity of so many parishioners of this great parish of St. John of Arc. It goes to show you what happens when the people come together and make things happen. Definitely, and from what I've seen so far, this community has a great positive and friendly vibe to it. So we're gonna head out and check out some of the great places that we've come across. Let's go. Jackson Heights is known for its Indian restaurants, and we are in front of one of the busiest in the area, the Jackson Diner. So let's go inside and find out why this place stays so packed. I'm here with Manji, the owner of the Jackson Diner. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for coming. So my first question is, how long has your restaurant been here? We've been in this location for 10 years almost now, but otherwise we've been in this block since 1983. Okay, and there seems to be a large population of Indian people in Jackson Heights. I understand that this area is commonly referred to as Little India. Yes, it is. Okay, yeah. so when did that influx begin? Well, we start, when we started the restaurant in 83, there was about uh, four Indian stores at that okay. time, but now, as you can see outside, it's changed a lot right. over the years. Right. So when would you say that a lot of people started moving here? I would say in the mid-80s to late 80s. Okay. A lot of businesses and people started moving in this area. Okay. So now tell us a little bit about Indian food. For someone who's never had it before, how would you describe it? Well, it's a uh, food with a lot of flavor. Okay. It does have a little <laughs> kick to it. Right. And it's not boring. It's a lot of color. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And people love it nowadays. Okay, so do you offer a vegetarian option here as well? Abs absolutely. Uh, India is a country with a lot of vegetarians, so you do have to give a lot of options to people in vegetarian okay. food. Uh, I would say about like 40% of our menu is vegetarian itself. 40%. So what are your most popular dishes in the buffet or on the menu in general? In menu in general and buffet, the Murtika Makanwala, okay. which is like a chicken tikka masala. Okay. Tandoori chicken, and then our spinach is very popular, spinach okay. and cheese. Samosas is very popular. Okay. Our dosa is also very popular. Even though it's a South Indian dish, we do it pretty well. People love it over here. I love dosas in general, just for the record. But why don't you tell us what we're going to prepare today? We're going to prepare a tandoori chicken today. Okay, tandoori chicken. Yeah, it's just all. Just describe it very quickly. It's basically a whole chicken. It doesn't have any curry in it. It's a. It's cooked in a clay oven, which is called a tandoor. Okay. It's a very hot oven. It goes up to a 600, 700 degrees, but we cook it under a slow fire. And there's a lot of Indian spices and marination and so forth on it. And the chicken will end up having a really pretty color to it, right? Absolutely. Okay, so let's get started. All right, great. Okay, we're where all the magic takes place in the kitchen. But we're in for a very special treat. We have Manjeet's father with us, who's actually going to prepare the chicken. And he's the one who actually started the diner in 1983. So let's get started. Now what I'm amazed is, these are all the spices that are gonna right. go on it. I didn't even realize it was this many, my goodness. Yeah, this is actually, uh, it's sometimes even more, uh, but we use a special garam masala, okay. which is a blend of spices that we use. Okay. We're gonna use uh, garlic, ginger, fresh lemon juice, garam masala, coriander seeds, which is ground into coriander powder, okay. salt, chili powder, a little bit of coloring, and yogurt. Okay, great. So, so all the fat is removed from the chicken. Okay, wow. Instead of like a lot of places, uh, like American places, they just take the whole chicken and they just cook it, but we remove most of the fat. Most Indian restaurants do that. This is actually, you know, from here, we usually do this and just leave it alone okay. for 24 hours at least. I see. Yeah, we let, the, let the, all the marination, you know, go into the meat. Give it time to sink into the yes, meat. absolutely. Got it. So what's up next? The That's a, just chili powder. Chili powder? Yeah. 
This is a coriander, coriander. seed, okay. which is ground into coriander powder. And this is garam masala. This is a blend of spices. Yes. And this is a yogurt. Okay. You can use your, your, uh, we use a little bit of sour cream in there also. Okay. Very little. And what does that do? Can it, 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 it binds everything together. It gives uh, it uh, also a good flavor. I see. Maybe turns all those yeah. spices into a paste yes. and it sticks. And what's this? This is uh, basically food coloring. Okay. And saffron also. Okay. So then rub the chicken down, yeah. basically give it a bath and all the spices. Right. When you say tandoori oven, yes. what does that consist of? What is that tandoori exactly? Tandoori is basically a clay oven. Okay. Uh, we'll show it to you very soon. Uh, it has a flame from the bottom. Okay. The walls are used for the bread. I see. We bake the bread and uh, the chicken itself is skewered and put in there. It's almost like a barbecue style of cooking. Okay. It's one okay. of the best ways to cook. Hygienically, it's very good because it doesn't touch any surfaces. Right. All the, all the, all the meat is cooked properly. All the fat is burned off. Health-wise, it's very good for you, too. Right, no, no oil involved, right? No oil, no oil involved no, no in tandoori involved. style. No, no. So this is what we want it to look like then. Yes. Now, you said you didn't cook, but I think you know a little something, yeah. right? <laughs> After watching. <laughs> All these years. <laughs> okay. So then it will sit like this in just a bowl. Yeah. For 24 hours. Yeah. So now we're going to put the chicken on yeah. the skewers. Yeah, he's going to skewer the chicken and put it in our uh, tandoor oven, okay. which is a clay oven. Right. And uh, he's going to start right now. Very uh, hot, just skewer. like you said. Yeah. Now I really feel the heat as yeah, soon as we got close to it. This is a very important part, like skewering it properly so it doesn't fall down. Okay. And it's cooked for about half an hour. About under half low an hour. Heat, under low heat. Okay, under low heat. Yeah. But it goes up to 600 degrees. It does go up to 600 degrees. I see. Yeah. So originally you started at full speed, uh -huh. so all that heat can somehow like almost zap the chicken from outside and hold in all the flavor and the juices. Okay. Now he's going to skewer it and just put it right in there gently. Right down there. Wow. So is, is a tandoori oven a, an ancient Indian cooking yeah, it technique? Is. It's okay. a very old technique. Okay. Highly efficient. Highly efficient. Wow. It's a, one of the best ways to cook meat. Interesting. So we'll leave it in there for half an hour. Half an hour and that's we'll it. be back All to right. get a taste. <laughs> Finally, the moment of truth: the tandoori chicken is ready to come out of the oven, right? It's been about a half an hour. About a half an hour. Okay, great. So he's being very careful. Yeah, that thing yeah, is hot. Yeah, it's very hot. Wow. So you just take it off the skewer. Slide it off. It, yeah. With great care, I would imagine. Absolutely, absolutely. All right. The Jackson Diner used to be for Queens insiders only, but the secret is officially out. And even though they've really grown in popularity, they've managed to maintain their authentic Indian flavor. So make sure you write down this information because you've got to check this place out. So our thanks to Manjeet for having us. Thank you for coming. And I'm going to break bread and sip on this mango juice.